Okay, in this video we're going to make the leaves that accompany our little gathered flowers. I have a length of ribbon here. I'm going to fold each end down the centre, like that, and I'm going to flip it over to the back and I'm going to pin it in place. With my needle threaded and knotted at the end, I'm going to start at this end just above the ribbon edge and I'm going to do a securing knot just pop the needle through the loop I've got my securing knot now again I'm just going to do a running stitch across the base of the ribbon going through both layers of fabric of the ribbon go right to the very end Remove the pins at this stage. Draw up, gather up the um, the ribbon, secure it off. So securing knot. So we have the ribbon looking like that. Now to tie it off and create the leaf, we're going to wrap the thread around the base of the ribbon or the leaf about five or six times go to the back of the leaf and we're just going to secure off our thread knot it a couple of times and there's our leaf we can go with our gathered flower. I'll just do the gathered flower again. Here we've got ribbon, the formula. The ribbon is four centimeters wide, so therefore I need a length of 40 centimeters. I've got my needle threaded. Secure off the knot. Actually, I might use a longer needle. There we go. Longer piece of thread. Start down on the right hand side of the ribbon. Do a securing knot to hold it in place. I'm going to do a running stitch up the side of the ribbon. And then we're going to do a running stitch along the top of the ribbon. This will take us just a minute to do. Keep doing the running stitches until we come to the end, pulling it through. You can also make these flowers out of lace. Again, the width of the lace, multiply it by 10 to get your length that you need. You gather them up, make the flowers, and you can pop these decorative buttons in the middle. It's a good way of going through your button stash and using up any of those leftover buttons. Right, we've come to the other end of this ribbon. Now we're going to do a running stitch down the side of the ribbon, the other side of the ribbon. So as you can see, see we've done a running stitch along the top, on the side, we're going to pull it up now. And we're going to do a securing knot. Now what I want to do to form the fl flower completely is have the knots meet. So we need to just untwist this, straighten out your ribbon and we get the two knots together. Uh, we're just going to make the knots meet. Here we go, going through both ends of the ribbon, bring them together, just do a few securing stitches. Now 
do another one and just knot it off. Here we go. We've got another flower that we can add to our collection. Also, as I said, it can be done with lace. That'll only take us a minute to do. So again, we're going to be doing a securing knot on the end of the fabric. Go up the right side of the ribbon up along the edge just do a running stitch in a bit out of the lacy bits and I'm going to run it along here run along the top after you've made a few of these you'll get the idea of the length of your running stitch that you want Good thing to make lots of these and have them in stock for when you do your different craft projects. Almost there. Right. Just come to the end. We're going to go run along down the other side of the ribbon. Now we can pull up our ribbon. Seems to have caught on some of the lace. Here we go. Now we can pull it up. We can knot it off. Just do a couple of securing knots so it doesn't unravel itself at a later date. Then we're just going to untwist it. And then we'll have it, the knot we've just created, meet up with the knot from the beginning. Going to join them together. A couple of slip stitches. Cut off the remaining thread, and there we go. Another flower to add to your collection. Of course I've shown it in a larger size ribbon but you can use smaller width ribbons and multiply the, rip, the width of the ribbon by 10 to get the length that you need to work with to make these flowers. Thank you.